not to see them. It feels unfair. Something is robbing us from the time I'd be spending with my loved ones if there wasn't a quarantine. I feel my mind reminiscing of meals, vacations, activities that are very fond memories inside. But there is the loss of safety, public safety. And it's painful hearing and knowing what loss and suffering is out there. My brain wrestles with how staying at home can be such a powerful act. But when I hear the numbers and picture how the numbers are people, mothers, daughters, fathers, sons, colleagues, friends, loved ones, they are people. And though I cannot control what's happening in hospitals, in care homes, and epicenters, I can control how I live this day. I'm in charge of how staying at home looks like for me. And in my home, there's room for sadness, laughter, anger, pain. I am free to acknowledge my feelings. I am free to acknowledge my resistance to some feelings. I am free to witness the sensations that come along with all kinds of feelings. Not every day is a good day, but there is good in every day. As I continue to adapt and adjust to staying at home, I do think of what it's going to look like coming out of this. Some things about this season I want to keep moving forward. Other things I'm more than happy to say goodbye to. I'm learning so much about myself, my true, authentic, real self in this process. I observe my behaviors, my decisions, my mindset. I'm proud of how I'm making myself a priority now. I'm proud of how I'm adapting and adjusting to staying at home. I'm proud of how I'm giving myself self-care. I know self-care breeds so many benefits, so I make the time and space to listen to myself, listen to my needs, and listen to what I really want in my life. So as I manage all the adapting and adjusting needed to staying at home, I prepare for more adapting and adjusting when I'm able to leave and return home freely All the things I cannot plan for, I have the tools and skills to adapt and adjust. There's a transformation happening here. There's pre-pandemic me 
There's the during the pandemic me that I have right now. And there's post pandemic me. So I'm here for myself. I'm practicing self-compassion. I am doing what it takes to stay grounded. And I keep feeding happiness and fulfillment. I am adapting and adjusting because I'm strong and firm in the ways I'm adapting and adjusting.